How are you? <clears throat> My name is Miss Robinson, and I am doing this uh, particular session for um, Elizabeth Nay Museum. And so one of the activities that I created was to create a poster regarding Miss May and her um, characteristics, what, what makes her who she is. So I got up on my screen here, you'll notice, and hopefully you can see it. Um, the YouTube video I'd like for you to watch first, all right, before you even do the poster. I'm going to show you, we're going to go to you to do the actual poster. So you're going to do the YouTube video. It's about 40 minutes long, but you can do 20 minutes and get the gist of it. Um, and find out as you're listening to it, what are some things that make her who she is? Now, it's implied characteristics because they don't tell you when well, Miss Nay was very um, um, a good, a, a, a excellent worker. It didn't tell you that she was very feisty or whatever words you want to use or um, she valued children. It does say that. She says she loved children. But you need to listen carefully to kind of find out what she uh, valued as a human being, what her political views might be, what she thinks about art <clears throat> or as an artist. And um, just use those, create some words um, that reflect her, right? All right, so after having saw, seen that video, you're going to then go to Google, and you already know how to do that, Elizabeth May Pictures in the Google search engine, and you get a bunch of images. If you click on from all to images, you're going to get all images, right? You know that too. I'm sure you do, but just in case, <laughs> just in case. So you're going to download those images, and I'm assuming you probably know how to do that, but we're going to just do that just to make sure. We're going to right-click on the mouse, save image as. Some of you all might be working from a tablet. I don't know. Um, if you're working for a laptop and you still have a mouse, fine. You're going to save image as. Uh, I would probably create a new folder to save everything in, so that way you can go back and find it. Mine are going to the default folder, which is downloads. But if you want to do a folder that says Ms. Nay's pictures or Ms. Nay work or whatever you want to say, and then you would click on the save button. Of course, you know that. And <clears throat> I'm going to click cancel because I'm not going to save. I've already done it. So after we have our, our, our pictures, you're probably not going to need that many. Again, it depends on what you do. You might use all of them. You may not. You may use as many as you come up with and maybe not. I don't know. It all depends on how you make the poster. Then we're going to go to homecanva.com. And this is what's going to pop up on your screen. Now, <clears throat> barring you're going to pop up in, uh, to say sign up. <clears throat> Mine is on because I already have the account. But you have to sign up first. It's a free account. And if you are underage, let your parents know you're doing this. And if you feel like you can do this without your parents' help, fine. It's, it's pretty, uh, it's a pretty, you know, non-threatening program or online but just in case right so anyway when you sign up you're going to sign with your email and then you're going to have your name up here and if you want to add your picture you can i don't recommend that but if you want to you can and then you have this after you get in you're going to have these um resources available to you uh to uh basically create a design from scratch um <clears throat> you're going to have templates and if you don't know what a template is it's actually a set up already and it has placeholders in it and those placeholders allow you to change the information right so those placeholders are what is going to be on the poster already in a template and then you can go in and take out what's in there and put your own stuff in it so that's all you need to know now if you don't want to do any of that you're going to do a search for poster it's still going to bring you templates but it just gives you templates ex just specifically for a poster this gives you templates for anything they are there that you're able to do in this software program okay so i've got a poster it gave me the 18 by 24 which is a long way and then you have the landscape which you probably know that it's the wide way right the wide way <clears throat> you can do either one you want i'm just going to click on the 18 by 24 going long long length like a piece of paper uh and then you can do a blank one again like you can create design from scratch a blank one is the same thing or you can use some of these particular um templates because they're already set in like i said they have the pictures and everything already in and i'm going to try this one down here all right now <clears throat> the template comes up <clears throat> a certain style certain font I'm moving myself out the way here uh already in it all right and if you want to look uh see it better go to a larger view there that lets you see it a little bit better all right now it comes in with colors and all that 
all this can be changed. All right. And everywhere there's a what I call a placeholder, if you click on it, anywhere there's a placeholder, those things can be changed. They can come out. You can add to it. You can do whatever you want. <clears throat> you can change the color. You can put another background color on. So I'm just going to go through something real quick to just kind of give you an idea. So here, right here, it's um, giving you procedures for self-quarantine. We don't really want to, well, we already self-quarantine. <laughs> if you're sheltering in, you're doing it too. But if you want to change that and say uh, the life of Miss Nay, you can do that. So I can click in here, highlight it like most people do, delete it out and say the life and times of Miss Elizabeth, Elizabeth, she knows she changed her name. That's one of her characteristics. Eliza, the bet was Elizabeth. Nay. <clears throat> and you can make that bigger. You can put it somewhere else. Take that out right there. Um, you can stretch it. All right. So it doesn't go right exactly on top. You can make it smaller. And all of this, once you click on it, you can change the color. You can change the size. You can change the font. You can change whether it's bold or italic or underline. Some of these fonts don't allow you to do any of that. Some do. You can center it. You can change, make it all caps. You can put, a, we're not going to put a list. You can even space it differently. Like it's right now spaced line height is a certain way. You might want to make it tighter. You want to make the letters tighter so this comes over a little bit more. You can anchor it to the text box. You can anchor it on this page. Those are all things you can play around with. But once you click on it, it gives you those options. More, you can transparency it, meaning you can make, make it less uh, vibrant. You can add a link to it so that you might want somebody. But since this is offline, you're going to save it as offline unless you show it to somebody digitally. They're probably not going to be able to go to the link. But you have that option. You can lock it and you can duplicate it. And you can also position it a certain way and on down the line. So just copy the style and delete it. you got all those options. We're just going to quickly change the color, show you that. <clears throat> so right now, these are the colors that are being used in this particular uh, document. But if you want to change it, Make it my little more brighter. Change it to a certain color you want. You've got a color scheme or theme that you want to use. Or you can change the colors by clicking on some of these colors and change it to the colors that are already in it. So you, you, you've got options. Uh, it's a title and I would preferably prefer, prefer it to stand out. So of course I'd make it as dark as possible. That would be me. But you don't have to do that. It's up to you. All right. So anywhere there is text, you can change. You can change the text, add text. You can also add pictures. So this is where I'm going to show you how to put pictures in right quick. So now your placeholder is on. You can delete it. Once it's clicked on, you can press the delete button or the backspace button. And then you can go to photos. Now, since this is a specific person, you're probably not going to find any pictures about her, but you can put in sculpture, something like that. So maybe you want to talk about her sculpture. These wouldn't exactly be her sculptures, but you can also put in the pictures that you have of her sculpture, or you might want to talk about sculpture in general. Uh, but if you want to get pictures that you have downloaded already or uploaded because of her, you click on uploads. My images are already in here because I already did this. So I'm going to grab this picture and I'm going to move it over here. Now, it's not in the place I want it to be. I'm going to take that one out, delete it. And I'm going to put this one in. Now, I have to make it smaller, right, in order for it to fit. You have to keep playing around with it till it gets as small as you need it to be. That's not me. Not, not me. Don't make me smaller. <laughs> that you need it to be to be able to fit your circumstances. And you remember the arrows make it smaller, larger, and the four arrows on the inside allow you to move it. Well, it's so small you can't move it now, but <clears throat> there we go. So you can still move it. All right. Oops, wrong board. I didn't want to do Pinterest. All right. So that's kind of what that is all about. When I get that hand, I can move it around. I did a Pinterest thing. I didn't want to do that. All right. There we go. Four, those, four, those four circles and four arrows. I'm sorry. All right. So now that's the first picture. <clears throat> and you can talk about her home. <clears throat> um, uh, Elizabeth Nay Studio. So I'm going to put that in. Miss Nay Studio. Oops. Not doing too well here. Let's just delete that out and try it again. Miss Nay's. Studio, and you could put Austin in Austin, Texas, if you want to. You can make that smaller just by going up here and changing the size so it fits a little bit better, a little bit neater in there. You can even make it larger. You can stretch it. 
you got so many options here. I don't want to play around. I don't want to do too much of this because you can play around with it as you go into it. But I love this because <clears throat> you have so many different ways that you can make this stand out. Now, you can notice if you notice it's a background color, <clears throat> anywhere there's a placeholder, you can change the color. So in order for me to change the color for this background, and then there's a white background, I can change that as well. But you can also change these little background colors here. Just make sure you click on the right thing, right? Around the border around, and then go right here and change the color. Right now, they have it on transparency, I would assume, uh, because it's not coming in as bright as it can. Uh, so I think it's probably on transparency. Yep, it is. And of course, it's a nice transparency. You don't want to make it too dark. But if you want to, you know, make it lighter, darker, you can use your cut, click on it, go to transparency, and then slide it back and forth. All right, so that's one thing. You can also change the text in the text box here. Again, by clicking on it and uh, going here and changing your text color. You know, you might want to make it pink instead of the blue. Okay, didn't do. Which one will see? Them. <clears throat> Try it again. I'm in the way here. Move myself out the way here. There we go. Now it changed. There we go. Can't see that one, so that's not a good choice. <laughs> Can't see it, so that's not a good choice. We need some dark. We need um, something a little darker. Maybe we'll do that. Yep, there we go. All right, so again, just playing around with it. So you got all these possibilities and options. And if I want to do the background all together, I can go to background and I can even add more text. You know, there's so many options I can. Let's see. Let me try a nice color background. Then that. Uh, not good. <laughs> That one you have to not free, so you have to pay for this one. There are some that are free. That one isn't. Let's try that. Okay, that's nice. I like it. All right. So it 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 probably doesn't fit the image. Uh, you can upload and put in uh, other pictures in the background as a um, background if you want to upload some pictures. <clears throat> so you you're pretty much in the in the going in the direction that I'm talking about is if you're beginning to do this. So this is not hard at all. Uh, and finally, once you have finished making all your placeholders or adding the way you want or changing the font, remember you can also change the font right here. Um, you can also, um, you can also, uh, it's got a picture here. You can, the effects of the picture, you can change the filter. Uh, let's see, you can make it, um, I don't want to move the, well, I guess I don't want to remove the background. Let's try um, duo tone. All right. Well, no, that's not letting me. I gotta go somewhere else to get the duo tone. But let me try. Let me try filter. That's a much easier prospect than trying to do that. So I'm gonna try my drama filter. You see how it changes the picture filter there, it makes it look more dramatic. <clears throat> so you can play around with that to try to make get your point across. You can adjust it on your own and make it whatever way you want. You can crop the picture, take some stuff out. Uh, I'm not gonna crop, and you can flip it. So you got options there. And you can, again, duplicate it, position a certain way, transparency, the picture, the text, all of that. All that can be changed. So once you have done your, got your, 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 your thing, your poster done, you now want to share it. You can click on share button and share it to um, me or you can provide um, a copy. Or you can type in a person's name and their email address and share it to them that way. So if you want to give it to your teacher or you just want to let people see how great you you know how great you are when making um doing graphic design or you can download it and i prefer you got a list of downloads a standard pdf and download it or you can do it as a jpeg it's up to you so that's pretty much what you do click on download and it's going to start saving for you as you can see that <clears throat> and then the folder is going to pop up and then you save it again to the folder you created or just in wherever you want it to to be directed to you just have to direct it to where you want it to i'm going to cancel out because i'm not going to save it and I'm going to click X marks the spot. And that is all. And that is all she wrote. I hope you have a great time making this poster up for Miss Nay. And I'm really happy to look forward to what you create if you want to share it with me. Uh, my email address is Rennie Rob. It's R E N I E R O B 4 6 at Gmail. That's R E N I E R O B 4 6 at Gmail. So if you feel like you want to share it with me just to show me what you did. I really appreciate it. I'd love to see how great your work is. If not, you don't have to do that either. So I'm grateful. Thank you guys for watching. And I really, really am looking forward to it. Bye-bye.